Well hello and welcome again as we share together this time of morning prayer. Yesterday marked the beginning of Passion Tide, the last two weeks of Lent, which ends on Holy Saturday. But of course the last few weeks have been incredibly hard, where through no fault of our own we have endured not being able to be with our family and our friends, having to work from home and in some cases even losing our jobs. We have heard of or known people who have got sick and even died. In such circumstances it may be hard, even impossible, to express how we feel. And actually even if we could, we might not want to. Sometimes all we can do is trust and hope that all things will turn out for the good of those who love God, as St Paul writes to the Christians living in Rome. And so in the next few minutes, as we pray together using words from the Church of England's daily prayer book, I hope that you will experience the peace of Christ that transcends all understandings, that his words will indeed guard your hearts and your minds. I'm going to read again a few words from Jesus calling. I love you for who you are, not for what you do. Many voices vie for control of your mind, especially when you sit in silence. You must learn to discern what is my voice and what is not. Ask my spirit to give you this discernment. Many of my children run around in circles, trying to obey the various voices directing their lives. This results in fragmented, frustrating patterns of living. Don't fall into this trap. Walk closely with me each moment, listening for my directives and enjoying my companionship. Refuse to let other voices tie you up in knots. For my sheep know, they know my voice and they follow wherever I lead. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross, and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Is it nothing to you, all who you pass by? Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which was brought upon me, which the Lord inflicted on the day of his fierce anger. For these things I weep, my eyes flow with tears, for a comforter is far from me, one to revive my courage. Remember my affliction and my bitterness, the wormwood and the gall, but this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. But the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. So let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so this morning's psalm is Psalm 62. On God alone my soul in stillness waits, for from him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation my stronghold, so that I will never be shaken. How long will all of you assail me to destroy me, as you would a tottering wall or a leaning fence? They plot only to thrust me down from my place of honour. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their mouth, but in their heart they curse. Wait on God alone in stillness, O my soul, for in him is my hope. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I will not be shaken. In God is my strength and my glory, for God is my rock, he is my refuge. 
Put your trust in him always, my people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. The peoples are but a breath, the whole human race a deceit. On the scales they are altogether lighter than air. So put no trust in oppression, in robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God spoke once, and twice have I heard the same, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to their deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So our first reading this morning is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 37, beginning at verse 1. Jacob settled in the land where his father had lived as an alien, the land of Canaan, and this is the story of the family of Jacob. Joseph, being seventeen years old, was shepherding the flock with his brothers. He was a helper to the sons of Bilah and Ziphar, his father's wives, and Joseph brought a bad report to them to his father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he had made him a long robe with sleeves. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Then Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. He said to them, Listen to this dream that I dreamed. There we were, binding sheaves in the field. Suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright, then your sheaves gathered around it and bowed down to mine. His brothers said to him, Are you indeed to reign over us? Are you indeed to have dominion over us? So they hated him even more because of his dreams and his words. He had another dream and he told it to his brothers, saying, Look, I have had another dream. The sun, the moon and eleven stars were bowing down to me. But when he told this to his father and to his brothers, his father rebuked him, saying, What kind of dream is this that you have had? Shall we indeed all come, your mother, your brothers and I, and bow down before you? So his brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. Who is this that comes from Edom, coming from Bosra, his garments stained crimson? Who is this in glorious apparel, marching in the greatness of his strength? It is I who announce that right has won the day. It is I, says the Lord, for I am mighty to save. Why are your robes all red, O Lord, and your garments like theirs who tread the winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone, and from the people no one was with me. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High, all that God has done for us in his mercy by his many acts of love. For God said, Surely they are my people, my children who will not deal falsely, and he became their saviour in all their distress. So God redeemed them by his love and pity. He lifted them up and carried them through all the days of old. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. Our second reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, beginning at verse 24. A dispute also arose amongst them as to which one of them was regarded as the greatest. But Jesus said to him, The kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But it is not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table, or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you, just as my Father has conferred on me, a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel.
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We say together the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So let us pray. Lord, we pray for all people, in all parts of this troubled world, and in all kinds of need. Lord, shine your light upon those who live in danger of violence, persecution, oppression, displacement, loss and injustice because of their race, their beliefs, their gender or simply who they are. We pray that the hearts of those who visit the evils of prejudice and greed upon others may be turned from darkness and awakened to the true light in the love and compassion of the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, shine your light upon those who live in fear of famine, disease and destitution, and upon those who live without hope, faith or love, that they may know your true love and the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, shine your light upon your church and upon all people of faith, that their love may shine in the darkness, uniting in their endeavours for the common good. May we in the ministries which are our lives proclaim the good news as our faith shines forth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, shine your light upon those who suffer in mind, body or spirit. In this anxious time, give them courage and hope and bring them the joy of your redeeming love. We pray also for those who love and care for them. And in this, a moment of silence, we name in our thoughts any known to us who are in special need of our prayers at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, shine your light upon those who are grieving. For Jesus, you are the light of the world, a light which no darkness can quench. And so we remember before you those who have died, especially those whose anniversaries fall at this time. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
And so standing at the foot of the cross and as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.